All right, boys. Welcome to another Domintary. That's right. That's what we're calling it. Um, it's gonna be how to dominate episode four. We last time we talked to you a little bit about how to counter Graves with Pantheon. Now we're gonna teach you how to play Graves into Pantheon and just play Graves in general. So we're gonna do this matchup here. Um, to start off, just runes. I have Press of Attack, Triumph, Legend Alacrity, Coup de Gras, uh, Sudden Impact, and Ravenous Hunter. Pretty standard Graves runes here. Um, and yeah, pretty much like the early game, I gotta be able to outfarm the Pantheon. I need to avoid him um, in the early game, so I have to path away from him. You'll see pretty much like what I do to get an advantage. Start on red here. Keep the auto attacks on it. Walk over here. Keep your auto split when you play Graves. Like, you don't want to just ha sink your whole auto into one thing. You want to be hitting two things at once, obviously, unless there's only one thing available. So I split all my autos there. We have bot side warded. I assume he started blue buff. He hasn't shown yet. There's a chance he crosses and tries to match me here. If that is the case, I need to just get this before he gets here. But yeah, I'm trying to play away from him, obviously. Yep, so he's bot side here. I'm gonna go for this. Okay. It's like a pretty cheap level two gank. All right, I'm gonna let him push. He is, um, he'll be able to push because he's singed by himself, so I'm not going to tax him too much. Also, I have uh, the um, highest minion score in the game, so that means that I get reduced gold, so just let him push here. We got his flash and his ignite. I could have potentially went to his red there. That was originally what I was going to do, but you have to be like watching the map while you're playing um, jungle. So if something comes up, you take the free kill. Almost let it reset there, but didn't. Gonna be looking to back at Longsword and Red and Red Smite soon. Damn, that sucks. Got killed mid. I have highest CS in the game. Yeah, I still do, so I'm gonna get reduced. Gold here. So I really only care about the melees here. Because these only give me like four gold per one, so I'm not gonna even hit them. It's better to just get my recall off. All right. Gonna get boots and a longsword here and red smite. Then go to my golems. Kind of sucks that a colleague got killed by Ari solo killed. If if um Ari gets really strong, that's probably the worst for me because I am going to um most likely. I'll be going like a lot of armor this game because of Riven, Pantheon, and MF. So he's the only magic damage, so I don't want to have to itemize for him. Okay. Got a flash here. Make sure we get the kill. Okay. Left that kill for me. So I can't fight Pantheon directly, but if my team, like, if he does something dumb like that, I'm not going to take any of these because I have um, the Monster Hunter debuff. But yeah, like, if, if he does anything, like, risky and I can get my team to collapse on him first, then I'll be able to win the situation. Okay, just full clear here. Actually, Bot Crab just spawned. I should take that immediately, actually. Yeah, and Ari's not six yet. I should be able to just grab this crab for free. Oh, he actually just got it. I need to run. Hmm. So there I actually made a mistake. I should have just went straight crab. I wasn't completely aware of when it spawned and where it spawned, so. This guy just I think might have killed himself. Ooh, that's really bad for us. Especially because we saw him.
We can't really give too many free kills like that. I got the experience for the um, cannon here. Got the whole wave. That's good. Hit level six. Oh, he's looking. He's looking for all in top. I can walk there then. Hmm. Should be able to just fling and get the kill here. There I could have dashed away, but I was pretty confident we would be able to um, survive. Just going to back pretty far away. You know, I should just back at the turret. I'm not going to even risk it. We still haven't seen Ari run back mid, so he might be just doing the long con on me. I'll get Warrior here, and I'll be strong. So this game I need to play differently. I can't go for... Um, I can't go for my standard, like... Uh, lethality build. I mean, I can, but it's not super good. If I get really far ahead, I'll do it. I'm pretty far ahead right now, but if I get like super, super insanely far ahead, then I'm definitely going to do it. The thing that I'm kind of worried about right now is Pandion can still duel me, even with um, having no, uh, no um, kills or even being behind. And the RE has priority on the Kali because the Kali's just been getting outlined, so. Definitely have to consider those things. Golem should be up pretty soon. Looking to play through bot here though. Like if I do want to go for um, crab or something, I want to go through bot lane and not through mid. It's pretty fucking scary though, especially with um, Ari pressure. Yeah, this is really fucking terrifying. I think I should just give up the crab. Even though I'm way stronger, I have to give up the crab here. Like we just can't be greedy. It's just, that's just mid um, difference. Like, this is one of the biggest mistakes that a lot of junglers make is they'll like, they'll be like, oh, I'm stronger. Like, look at how much stronger I am. Like, I need this crab. When in reality, it's like, I do, I do want the crab, but like the worst situation is if we fight that, we lose the crab anyway, because yeah, they just have um, stronger, stronger mid laner. We lose the crab anyway, and we're going to die. And then we're going to give our shutdown away. So you got to be patient with things like that. I mean, obviously it sucks. Like, he shouldn't be getting crabs when he's behind. Um, first crab I could have done something about. This crab, I had no option to contest it. Like, I was there on time and everything. This was not possible. Oops. Misclicked there for a sec. Okay, so that's good. Singed is winning. He's made the most out of the level 2 gank so far. Gonna be looking to recall and go back bot side, I think. Pantheon's sick, so he's gonna like look for a drop play soon. Ideally, if I can like be there and counter it early, that would be awesome. That'll be for Stormraiser eventually. I honestly don't even know if Stormraiser is that good here. We might just go standard like PD build. I think that might be better this game because we are against um, Pantheon. And he's going to block my first auto anyway, so it's pretty worthless to get the Stormraiser proc. Oh my lord. He's just going to get Pantheon ulted. I don't know. He walked up for the CS and killed himself pretty much. Is mid getting killed too? Yep, mid is getting killed too. Okay, so there I flashed over the charm. That's like the uh, um, the number one thing that you have to consider there. Like, I don't really care about um, like not being in range or something of my spells. Like, because I can still auto over the wall. I am a range champion. Um, so there I have to be conscious of like, okay, he's gonna throw the charm. Once he throws the charm, I'm gonna flash over the charm and then be able to kill him. Whoops, missed an auto there. I can get top crab here. I had to sacrifice dragon. I mean, that just is what it is. But I can potentially get red buff, so let's see. Okay. He already had it when he went bottom, I guess. 
Okay, where's the top crab? It's in this bush. Stop hiding from me, Mr. Krabs. Thank you. Potentially go top afterwards. We'll see. Nice. So yikes from me, dog. This Akali doesn't seem very comfortable. He's also lost pretty hard. I'm going to try to take top turret here. Open up the map a little bit. Get first turret before they do, essentially. They have no Pantheon ult here, so we have to consider that. And they have no Ari ult, so we should be able to get this. Okay, never mind. They're rotating everyone here. We got a lot of damage on it, though. Alright. Balain got double killed. I mean, this is just this is just how jungling goes, man. <laughs> like, you just gotta get used to this shit. If you're gonna jungle in high low. At least we have one lane winning, dude. Hey, we might have we might have two lanes losing, but that's damn right better than fucking three lanes losing. We'll take it. And I'm pretty ahead myself. Gonna go towards Cleaver. Cleaver PD this game, I think, is the build. It sucks that we weren't able to get the top turret. They rotated two top and then we lost bottom turret as well. I mean, I'm still really strong. I'm probably the strongest one in the game. Damn, Riven is down here. Took my race. It's really weird. They ulted for this. Hmm. So I'm just getting pressured out by um, their laners. Like apparently their laners are just super far ahead at this point. Kaisa didn't have R. They had Soraka heal, etc. I'm gonna have to give up bottom crab, but I mean, as you can see, this is like how I played away from Pantheon. Like, they didn't generate any advantages from having Pantheon. It's pretty much just all been generated by their laners themselves, which is is pretty good. Like, you have to understand how to play both sides of matchups. Like, even if it's a counter matchup, like I know what the Pantheon wants to do, and I have to use the information that I have at my disposal to, um, yeah, like get an advantage of some sort. Bot died again. Is what it is, man. want to get this and then go mid I'll I'll pick up the rift herald later yeah I'll go back and pick it up then uh, I need to just R back here I think All right, I gotta go pick up that rift so I wanted to get to the fight ASAP so I didn't pick up the herald immediately Just in case my ult was needed. And assuming that we win the fight, I would be able to come and pick it up either way. Made sure that I set it as we went so you knew that I wasn't just forgetting. Okay, so. We have to play around their strong people. I mean, the MF is really strong and the RE is really strong right now. Kind of the worst people to be strong. For me, at least, but um, this this game essentially we're gonna need to go late. We're gonna need like four items around. Okay, I can get tabbies eventually. For right now, I don't need them though. Eventually, though, I, I do have a front line with Singe, so that can be useful to me. And hopefully, the Pike and the Kaisa end up doing something later on. I think the Kali is gonna be out of the game for the most part, but. Maybe she can at least draw somebody to split push. Okay. Died again. Hopefully he doesn't start giving up now. Gotta be really careful. I'm actually gonna look for a solo play on the ribbon. He has dust play though. Hmm. I think Riven might actually walk through here. I'm going to camp this bush and look for him. 
Never mind. I'm gonna go for him. I think that this is just like desperation. Like we need to do something. Jin got or uh, not Jin. Sin Singe got picked off. His name is Jonathan. So. I want my team to move down, but they're just not moving at all. That's not FF, guys. Missed the stuns. I'm gonna try to protect the ward with the smoke screen. One of the tricks you can use. Pinked. Kill the pink ward here. Yeah, Soraka all came in, um, so I wasn't able to kill the um, ribbon there, but you know, what can you do? You can take as much farm as possible. Not sure what this guy's saying. So this will be for PD. Definitely gonna need the PD this game versus things like Riven, things like Pantheon. If they get on me, I need to be able to reduce their damage. Yep. So we've made very few mistakes this game. That's good, because at least there'll be something to learn from it. Um, yeah, we just have to fight around the Singed, and we need Akali to stop dying. see autos he got um he got my golems here i'm getting i'm starting to get starved like i've missed like red buff and like pretty much every crab because um i can't contest them without lanes my lanes are super behind right now mainly mid and bot are just really behind and the annoying thing is they have soraka so they have global pressure um with her ulti like they can take fights that they normally might not be able to take because of the fact that the champion is so strong this guy has no ult now we can actually do something we can look for something now I'm gonna just pop Harold. That's gonna be what we're going for here. Just look for turret damage here. Without ulti. Okay, they're 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 ulting. We see it. We missed. I got the ult off before I got charmed. Good. Did some damage. Gonna look for a cheeky auto on the side. Got to back off here, though. It'll be a suicide if I try to get that extra auto. Don't want to greed for it. Gonna potentially look for... Um... Oh, shit. They're coming for me. Gonna potentially look for... Um... Blue buff here. Mid died again. Actually kind of unsure how we're dying nonstop, but is what it is. Oh man, I really didn't kill him there. I'm actually really surprised. I guess I don't have damage. My bad. I think Soraka might have ulted. Not sure. Okay, I'm going to buy my zeal and look for a PD next. It wasn't worth um, going that close. I think I should have just backed off completely. Just taking his bot side jungle. I mean, I thought that since he had used all of his cooldowns, we'd be fine. But I guess we just don't have any damage right now from um, Kai'Sa. And I don't have much damage until I get my fourth item on Graves. Oh, that's rough. Okay, I'm gonna clear my top side. I think I'm gonna take a uh, blue trinket here as opposed to red because I'm gonna need like the long range check on bushes. Like if I have to walk close enough to ward, I'm fucked. And if I like get reg sweeper and I try to just sweep things on the way, like I could still be in range to be killed. I'm gonna vote no on the surrender here though. The herald was fine. Surprised Riven ended up doing so well after the level two gank. Okay, so we need to get wards out at some point. This guy have this upgraded? Okay. He has no wards out. I can use my blue trinket to, to um, check eventually when it's off cooldown. I'll go mid and collect this wave since none of the other carries are here. Oh my god, I had fucking almost missed the CS on the cannon, so I ended up using my um 
I use my uh, whatever to get it, my smoke screen to get it. Oh wow, he actually just missed that. I don't know what we're gonna do here. How much will I have to donate to see an Ivern game? <laughs> too much, man. That is too painful of a champion to play. All right, so they're gonna start out Baron here. I can potentially steal. I have to go for this. Oh, and I got Baron. I'm actually a monster. I actually played that so nice. God bless. And we out, boys. I'm going to back on this pink ward. I'm not going to stop to kill it. Okay, so... Save the game for right now. We'll see if it's still winnable. Um, I'm going to go towards Death Dance now. Flash Barrier from Soraka as well. We've got Infernal up in 30. We need to fight this. If we can get into some type of position and get a pick as they walk in, that's optimal. while Soraka's walking in. Actually, I couldn't get the fucking auto off. Oh, right, right here, right here. Okay, Ribbon has to be the priority here. and snowball through it's really good now we're gonna go for infernal I wanted to ult there because I was afraid of them turning on me so going for death dance my pink here just get it out of my inventory I'm gonna use it anyway thought they might have a word got to the point where I've outscaled the pantheon so he can no longer fuck me up How much do I need for death stance? 2400. I think I can farm that. I think this is a farm baron, to be honest. Like, since we're so far behind, we can't actually, like, get that much off the baron ourselves. So we need to just, like, use it to get back in the game, I think. I normally would want to go tabbies early, but I just didn't think I had the luxury of building a defensive item here. It seemed like the way that the game was going, if I didn't carry the game um, in terms of doing enough damage and, like, building damage, we would most likely lose, so... We will see. Sorry, for troll go next, please. Uh, okay, so. Let's see. 16. After this, I have my death stance. They need to, like, we don't need to get that much off this Baron right now. We do outscale as a team. We just need to, like, survive. Four items. Last item here. Hmm. Thinking about what would be good, what would be best. Honestly, I think that this this might be a decent IE game. I think I'll probably go IE last item here with Tabby's. Okay, my team's fighting. I'm coming. I'm just gonna put in damage. Ooh, nice. There's a there's a Ari in the bush. That's why I was sidestepping around because I knew that there was gonna be a charm coming out. I should have blue trinketed as I was fighting because maybe I could have played more aggressively with it. But that's fine, dude. Two for one. I put my ult in just for damage. I wasn't gonna be able to um, get that much off there. Yeah, I think this is a last item game. Like, I definitely need to be a carry this game. 
hard get carry. I could go GA, but Christian, you monster. It just seems I just did to my material science final what you did to that Baron. <laughs> So thank you, pumped thank you, thank for you. the GTA half of the stream. <laughs> You're my hero, bud. Keep it high fee. Appreciate the donation, man. But, um... This is a much better stream than what I've seen in the past. Even chat is positive. Keep it up, Dom. <laughs> much respect. Alright, boys. So, things that we need to wait for. Akali Zanya's. Like, that's gonna be a, a big, um... Big point here. I think that, yeah, I'm still going to definitely go IE. I want the, the damage here over the survivability from GA. I could go GA, but then I'm kind of worried about, like, if my team will do enough damage to win. It doesn't look like we're going to get that much damage coming out of Akali, and Kais is pretty behind herself, so... Maybe I'll build BF Sword and I'll see. Like, maybe I'll die once and I'm like, hmm, maybe I want GA, but for right now, I think that we're going to have to deal with what we have. Okay, if Riven walks at me, I can like really destroy him with Red Smite. Not gonna use ult here. He he just use this. I'm gonna ult back so they can't go on me. Damn, he actually killed me. Hmm. Maybe we do need a GA, who knows? Wow. If I die, I think we just lose. Even though this is 4v3, if I die, I think it's just it's game boom, you know? Gotta just run. Damn. I got ignited and then my death stance ticked me down to crit range on spear. Alright. Hmm. I think if I stay alive, maybe, maybe we do have damage. So I think that GA here might be the correct purchase. We'll see. I'm gonna buy BF Sword first for sure. <laughs> Can't 5v5, I don't think. I mean, we just need him to be able to do something, is all we need. Yo, Dom, why does this text to speech beasy have to pause to take breaths? She not human, WTF. <laughs> I'm gonna pause the donations for the rest of the, the game. Thank you, though. Selling Death Stance for Stormraiser would be really bad. We should definitely be abusing the fact that we are strong right here. Oh man, this guy died. Okay. Whoops. Randomly plus pressed E. Pike was super deep. And died there for pretty much nothing. It's gonna be really hard to contest this Baron again. <laughs> Let's see if I can get the second Miracle Steel, boys. My team's a bunch of flamers, guys. What's wrong with these people? Yeah, I think it will probably be J eventually. God, I hope that somebody buys um, healing reduction. It'd be really nice. Like, I don't, I can't buy healing reduction. Like, buying a last whisper here is just suicide. Like, I need somebody else to do it. So one thing that's going to be really crucial um, in this portion of the game is my sc my smoke screen placement. Smoke screen is really an OP ability if you can land it at a good place. So got to keep that in mind. Like placing a good smoke screen in a fight could win or lose us the fight. I probably should definitely buy Morellos here. Help me out with that. gonna use this on cooldown gonna be a sword here so probably be for GA most likely I'm gonna need GA here Pantheon's actually starting to build pretty tanky he's kind of like conceded the idea of being able to um, win the game through like carrying and he's just gonna try to not lose them the game
And so our blue buff is up in 15. We need to retake Baron Vision at some point once everyone's grouped together. We definitely need to um, keep pressure mid as well. Damn. One for the one shot. Got the smoke screen. Oh man, I got charm there. I thought that was going to be a really good fight because I chunked Ari out super hard at the beginning, but apparently it did not work out. Once I get GA, it'll be much better though. I think that um, Akali is just like diving too deep and just getting one shot and not doing anything. We need him to survive for longer. I'm just going to try to survive for GA. At least our um, Kai'Sa got some kills off that. We have to make sure that they don't get Baron though. This guy's taking my entire jungle instead of focusing on pushing the bot wave, which is the priority here. We want the side lane pressure for when Baron, um, for like this Baron situation. I'm going to buy a Elixir here. I don't have Flash now, but... It's okay. I think using my flash to try to um, assassinate the Ari was nice. Like if I just got, um, if I just like angled my ult a little bit differently, it, he would have ulted into it and we would have killed him right off the bat, but still chunking off like most of his HP is really useful. Nice, 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 nice. I think we bait in the, um, we bait the Pantheon. The smoke screen actually fucked him super hard, but, um, we bait the Pantheon R and then we try to turn. We do not finish here. Okay, this guy just suicided for no reason. That changes everything. All right, now we have to back off. I mean, that was a really good play. It was a good idea from us to start the Baron there, but obviously with, when Akali just runs in and suicides, everything changes, and you have to just play to the conditions that you have. Okay, I'm trying to get enough money for my GA. Like, when you're playing solo queue, if you really want to win, like, I'm trying pretty hard to win this game, so if you really want to win, you have to think about, like, okay, what's the next thing? What's the next thing? Instead of getting caught up on mistakes, it's the most important thing. Is that you're always like trying to figure out, okay, this just happened, it happened, it's a fact, what do we do now? And then in this case, like what do we do now is, okay, get GA. Another person got picked, obviously not good, we're going to have to give Baron off that, straight up. We just have to give it, like if we walk in, we just die. Suicide. It's a bad time to get caught. I can refresh my pot once I have 500 gold, then I'll stop farming. Okay, so Elder's up in 126. We probably have to fight that. Let's see if I can get like a word somewhere. Take there, blue at least. Hey, okay, everyone's just suiciding. I was looking top for a sec. Missed my thing. It's fine. All right, is what it is. Okay. So next thing is Infernal. Or uh, sorry, Elder Dragon. It's in 50 seconds. We need to probably fight that, um, even though it's not like the most advantageous fight for us. Realistically, I don't think we can fight Elder and Baron. So. We should push mid, um, try to get this crab, try to just get vision together. We need Kaisa with us. Okay.
Damn, he actually died. What the hell? Guess I knew where we are there. I'm still gonna have to try to steal this, I think. I have my ult up in 30 seconds. Don't hit this. Oh, this guy killed himself. Damn, this is really hard. Uh, we lose the game here. All right, well, we tried our best this game to carry. Hopefully, uh, people were able to learn something from this. If you like this type of content, if you like these types of videos, we're going to be putting this on YouTube anyway. I think that um, this is a good enough game that there's st stuff to learn from, even though we lost. Um, and hopefully, you find a couple tips or something um, in here that you're able to improve your gameplay with. But yeah, if you enjoyed it, make sure to like, comment, um, subscribe. And yeah, uh, I'll be having... I'm going to try to have three videos like this a week on, on the YouTube. That's our goal right now. I mean, it's hard to get, like, ones that you can actually learn from all the time. But, yeah. We're going to try to get three.